Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is UV Bhide and I'm a model at BNM Model Management in Toronto and this is the Model Diet Part 1. So recently I've been getting a lot of DMs on my Instagram asking me for tips regarding weight loss and fat loss. So instead of typing out 50 different replies to 50 different people, I decided to make this video so all y'all can benefit from it. See, I don't like to toot my own horn regarding my transformation, but I was about a 205 pounds still up till a year ago, and I did lose about a 25 pounds. And more importantly, I lost about 11% body fat. Yeah, you heard that right. I was about 19% body fat till February 2019. And come July 2020, I'm about, I'm about 8 to 9 percent body fat so people who knew me in high school were really shocked regarding my transformation they knew that i was skinny fat back in high school and they have seen my pictures on instagram and they're like wow uv what did you do to get in such a good shape my transformation began the day i stopped listening to all the fitness advice given out by all these professionals so now tell me if this sounds familiar you join a gym with a goal of weight loss the trainer gives you a guide to how to lose weight so what do you do you restrict calories about 500 calories a day you eat a low fat high carb diet you eat small frequent meals and also drink all these detox smoothies and in two to three months what changes nothing you were just as you were you lose some weight from the torso and your problem areas like your gut your thighs still retain all the fat you also lose some lean muscle along with some fat and also feel tired all the time so why does this happen? Because calorie restriction diets simply do not work. Studies have also shown that calorie restriction is completely BS. There was a study published by the Journal of the American Medical Association. It was called Women's Health Initiative Dietary Modification Trial. It was started in 1993. So what they did is they put several women on these low fat calorie restriction diet for, for the course of seven years. What was the result of the study? After seven years, they found out that the average weight loss for, the, for these women was 1.1 kilograms. 1.1 kilograms over the course of seven years. And the worst thing about it is they also lost lean muscle mass along with fat mass. This happened because they restricted calories for longer periods of time and their body replied by slowing down their metabolism. So this proves that calorie restriction simply does not work. Calorie restriction is not going to help you achieve the fitness goals that you desire. What is going to help you achieve your fitness goals is the hormone called insulin. What is insulin? Insulin is the body's anabolic storage hormone, meaning it helps your body build muscle and fat and all the important tissue. Another job of insulin is that it's a carrier. It carries the blood glucose to the cell. So when you eat, your digestive system turns that food into blood glucose. And the job of insulin is to carry that blood glucose, open up the cell so that the blood glucose can go inside the cell. It's like a key to open up the cells. So till the time insulin is active in your body, your body really cannot tap into the fat reserves that you have. So when insulin is active in your body, you cannot tap into the fat serves. So when insulin goes up, your fat storage goes up. So it all depends on this one hormone, insulin. So for the first stage of this model diet plan, let's start by lowering our insulin levels. One way to do it is intermittent fasting. What is intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting is basically time-restricted feeding. A 14-10 method would be a great way for all of you to start. So what you basically do is not eat for 14 hours and then eat in the window of 10 hours. Eat whatever you were eating yesterday, but just in a window of 10 hours. So for example, if you have your breakfast at around 9, you finish your last meal, your dinner, at 7, and then do not eat anything from 7 p.m. till the next morning, 9 a.m. That gives your body 14 hours of not eating, and it lets your insulin fall and helps your body tap into those fat reserves because that's what they're there for. This will not only lower your insulin levels, but also increase the levels of growth hormone and glucagon. We'll talk about those hormones in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like. Thank you.